we have a world uh, where technology is giving us enormous power to do new things. Uh, but we also look around us and we say, are we using that power wisely? That if you want to have a high-functioning society, you must match the rate of technological commercial innovation with equal amounts of civic innovation. Machines are not going to take over us. We're going to take over the machines. Uh, to me, AI is, is going to happen. It's technology that's inevitable. The question is, how do we design in the human in the loop so that the, the human gets more leverage? A lot of the challenges that workers are facing in the gig economy or the online economy are very similar um, to the things that domestic workers have been facing for decades. You know, the resume is dead. You know, like which companies you've worked for in the past and, you know, what title you had. What's really helpful is to know what you know. What are you passionate about? We're not great at assessing people, and so we do focus on the wrong things. Um, and so there's, I'm sure, tremendously qualified people all over the place in the United States who are being overlooked because they went to the wrong school or because something as simple as they don't know how to put a resume together or they don't know how to interview. People don't have a clue what to tell their kids to study, what kind of credentials their kids need. The greatest reason for optimism about the next economy is the fact that this is so, there is so much more potential in people, and we've done so little to really bring it out. Although this industry was growing by leaps and bounds all around us, when I looked in the rooms of many of the conferences and many of the meetup events and many of the training events, I didn't see too many people that looked like me. There is actually no trade-off between inequality and growth. If we fight inequality, and international evidence shows this, we will also get more growth. These new economy issues, Tim, are not partisan issues. Both parties right now are being roiled by fundamental anxieties about economic dislocation. There are moments in companies, or in I'd say countries, that are strategic inflection points, mm -hmm. where something huge is happening that could either have a positive or negative direction, and I think that's where we are about jobs and income right now. What we will remember 100 years from now is this. Whether when the American dream was at its greatest level of risk, a handful of courageous people had the courage to stand up and do something about it. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you.